Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. And welcome back, everybody. Our sleep tight weather view takes us to, well, it takes us back to the block party there. You saw Jack's live shot from a little while ago. Beautiful weather out there. Really couldn't ask for much better weather for the beginning of our dogwood festivities here. We have that dogwood parade tomorrow. We're going to be hoping that the rain holds off because, of course, as soon as the nice weather stops, that's when we have our dogwood parade. But we might be okay. We're going to get into that in just a second. Let's look at that almanac. Got up to 69 degrees. Our average is 68 degrees, and that makes it the fourth straight day that our average or that our high was just a couple degrees within our average. Yeah, pretty neat. This is exactly what we're supposed to be feeling right now in the tri-state area. Take a look outside right now. 69 degrees is our temperature. Lots of clear skies out there. That dew points at 30 degrees. We're going to watch that come up here in the next few days. Allergy index, yeah, a little bit above the moderate for those trees still pollinating out there in the grass and mold. A little bit of an issue too. Currently across the tri-states, a lot of places reporting just pure sunshine here. Jacksonville, Pittsville at 70 degrees and sunny. A lot of these other areas just into the upper 60s. And that wind speed, not much of an issue there at all. Everyone under calm condition, barely a light breeze out of the southwest here in Jacksonville. Now take a look at the satellite and radar because we need to focus in on some of these showers. Now trying to make a run at the tri-state area. It is weakening though and you can zoom, we zoom out here and you can see what I'm talking about. These are weakening as they move into the area, but still a decent rain shield. Might see some spotty showers, a few drizzly patches out for our northwestern half of our viewing area. And I think that's where the best chance is going to be. Just a 20% chance of any one spot seeing some light patches of drizzle and or rain. Talk about Macomb back through Quincy. Northwest of that line there is where we could see that. All right, our high pressure system that's be responsible for this gorgeous weather is going to move off to the southeast. It's going to make those south winds come back. And yeah, it's going to bring in the humidity. Those clouds are going to increase, and the chances for rain are going to go up. This is tomorrow afternoon. You can see some more showers developing off to our west. Hopefully, we're going to get that dogwood parade in there. I think we should remain dry for that, but we definitely could have the chance to see some showers and maybe a brief thunderstorm for tomorrow. Same story for Sunday as that humidity it begins to increase. And yeah, we're going to be in the clouds, not in the clouds, but underneath the clouds for the next few days as the humidity really is going to stay there. And for the rest of the next week, we're going to look back to the west here. These are going to be some major players. There's a surface low back there and a cold front that's eventually going to kind of stall out over us and give us the chance for some thunderstorms every single day. Lows tonight will get only down to the mid-50s with those clouds. That'll kind of keep us in the, under the warm blanket of the clouds. Highs tomorrow, talking about mid to upper 70s, possibly some creeping up to 80, but it'll be warmer than it was today. And our seven-day uh, seven parade, seven-day forecast here, well, our dogwood parade is tomorrow. Few clouds in the sky for tomorrow. We're going to be dodging those showers and thunderstorms. And then Sunday, same kind of deal. I think the best chance for some widespread rain and thunderstorms is going to be Monday into Tuesday. And then the second shot for widespread rain will be Thursday. Thursday kind of starts to look interesting where you might see some of the storms on the stronger side. I'll be keeping an eye on that. But look at those temperatures getting up into the 80s every day. So it's going to be a warm, a bit more muggy, a bit more clouds, and a bit more chance for showers. But we need the showers. It kind of greens things up around here anyway. I haven't seen 80s in a long time. Yeah, they're back. 30 years. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> Chris Stewart joined.